Welcome to the homework for lesson 24. This is module 7 of third grade. Name first, please, so you can get credit for your homework. It's the easiest question to answer, so get that one out of the way first. Brian draws a square with a perimeter of 24 inches. What is the length and width of the square? So this is a word problem, so we're going to RDW it. Let's read, draw, and write. And my drawing is going to be a picture of a square. How hard is that? It's got a perimeter of 24 inches. So we know that the, the square has four equal sides. So that means that uh, 24 divided by, if we know the side lengths, then we will know that we can figure out the width and the length of the square. Because though they should be the same, right? Because it's a square. So 24 divided by 4 equals S for side of the square. S equals 6. And those are inches. When you make, if you use these little marks for abbreviations for inches, make sure you do two of them because if you do just one, then it's feet. It's got to be two. Like that. And don't write it like this because then it looks like 611. So six inches, the width and length of the. Width and length are both six inches. Rectangle has a perimeter of 18 centimeters. Estimate to draw as many rectangles as you can that have a perimeter of 18 centimeters. Label the width and length of each rectangle. So the rule that we've been working with so far, and I haven't thought of a better one, is that the perimeter is 18, then the length and the width have to equal 9 when you add them together, because that's right, because it's half of the perimeter, because there's another length and another width here. So, whatever the length plus the width have to equal 9. So, how many ways can you, how many different numbers can you add together to make 9? That's, the, that's really what the question is. So it just says, just draw. All I have to do is draw and label. And this is in centimeters. So we could have uh, 1 and 8. We can't use 0 for a side length. And then we can make it a little bit wider with 2. 2 and 7. And then we can have a little bit wider. Actually, I should be making these shorter, right? Not longer, because the length is getting shorter, isn't it? So let me just try to do this. It's not like the most important thing to get these pictures exactly right, but they should look like what you say they're drawing. So they should at least get shorter and wider. And this will be three. We're getting closer and closer to a square, aren't we? That's three and six. And that should be twice as long as it is wide, but you know, it's just a picture. That's okay. So, and then we need four and five, which is going to be very close to a square. I could make this one a little bit longer, like that. And just, you know, fix your picture. That's all. That's what erasers are for. All right, so there they are. How many different rectangles did I find? One, two, three. I found four.
four rectangles with perimeter of 18 centimeters. Explain the strategy used to find the rectangles. Uh, I will just have to describe what I used here. Um, I I look for ways to make nine with two add ends. It's a bonus there is use the word add ends. Get that math vocabulary in there. The chart below shows the perimeters of three rectangles and write the possible widths and lengths for each perimeter. So this is using that same idea that we need to we need a width and a length has to add up to half of the perimeter. So if the for rectangle A, if the perimeter is six, then we're looking for numbers that add up to three. So that would be well, it has to be one and two or two and one. And now we're looking for half of 10. So anything that adds up to half of 10, which is 5. So uh, how about 1 and 4? And then we're looking for half of 14, and that could be 1 and 6, because that 1 and half of 14 is 7. And now double the perimeters of rectangles in part A and find the possible widths and side lengths. So that first one for A was 6 and now it's 12. So double for B, we're going to double that one for 10. Double 10 is 20. And then for C, we're going to double 14 and that's 28. So now we're looking for widths and lengths for half of we want numbers that add to half of these perimeters so half of half of 12 is 6 so any two numbers that add up to 6 will be fine uh, how about 2 and 4 and, and there's a lot of other answers that are that will work just whatever I'm that, that's just the one that I picked they don't have, you don't have to have the same ones as me not exactly as long as they add up to 6 so for this one now this is 20 half of 20 is 10 so I just need two numbers that add up to 10 how about 2 and 8? And then uh, half of 28 is 14. So I need two numbers that add up to 14. How about uh, 10 and 4? And that's it.